Hey guys, so this one's going to be a fun one. Uh, I told you in the last video that I was going to show you how to remove a node from the cloud, but after you know many rebuilds and you know just working with the cloud, I decided that I wanted to figure out what was the maximum amount of VMs that I could run on a certain configuration. So if you go into your OpenStack dashboard and just take a look at the hardware you have. Right now we've just got two compute nodes in the cloud. Uh, and so that's a total, and they've got two CPUs each, so that's a total of four vCPUs. Now if you go looking around uh, at documentation for OpenStack, they say by default that it is set, the number of vCPUs on an actual CPU is set to 16 to 1. So technically I can have 32 vCPUs uh, on each one of these machines. They also state that the memory usage ratio is set to uh, 1.5, so one and a half times the amount of actual memory you have. Well, in the landscape install, I found that this isn't true. It, it, the, the defaults aren't set at all, and uh, they appear to be set for one to one. So I can have a total of four CPUs when that really doesn't make sense in a cloud environment you want to over allocate that's we want to get all the money out of the hardware we can because most instances aren't doing anything at any one time so that's more of a capacity conversation but so I went looking and decided to set the defaults to where OpenStack says they would be set so go, go to your GG admin for the internal part uh, of your configuration uh, and just go to Nova Compute and take a look at the settings so and we've talked about this before but this is your nova.comp file that you can edit so you, it edits all the nodes at once and you want to add these two flags and again I'll put them on the website uh, so that you guys can have them but we're gonna set it to the defaults that o OpenStack suggests for CPUs which is 16 so it's 16 to 1 and then I'm going to set the RAM allocation up to four. Uh, this is a totally test environment, so it really doesn't matter. The reason why I do that is because my CPU count is at 16 is going to vastly overrun the RAM count. So uh, I can have four times what I have here now. So I won't run out of RAM before I max out the CPUs, because this is really going to be a max out test. And also, to get the most bang for the buck, since we're really not going to use any of these instances, I went in here to flavors, and I created what is called, I called it Nano. Uh, and we can edit the flavor. You just come in here and you can create a new flavor and make it whatever you want. Uh, I set the root disk, let me just go back here. You can see how I set it. So. I set it to four vCPUs, so I can use a lot of CPUs per instance, and the RAM super low, so I don't run out of RAM before I max out the CPU. I also set the root disk to four gig, uh, so I won't run out of disk space before I run out of CPUs. Also, I want to mention that by default, if you go into images for 14.04 for trusty, uh, by default, this is set to a minimum of 10 gig of space. I just set it to 4 because I'm pretty sure that Trusty will run on 4 gig, no big deal. But I set it down to 4 so that I could then go and make this flavor set to 4. And uh, it won't complain when I try to spin these up. So, right now, as you can see, we have no instances, nothing being used, just the amount of memory that the configuration takes to run. So, let's just see how far we can push this. So do some quick math here. If we go to hypervisors one more time, we have set this to 16 times and we technically have four physical CPUs. So 16 times 4, that's 64 processors. Now I that that flavor is set to make four CPUs per instance. So divide that by four. I can create 16 instances on here. So let's go to instances, launch an instance. 
we'll call this nano underscore one. We'll pick our nano flavor that we created. We're going to create 16 of them, completely max the cloud out. Tells you down here how many vCPUs and everything. Uh, from the image, that 1404 that we adjusted, security should be fine. You can use your default key. And we're just going to add the admin interface because this is a test. And let's launch it and see if the cloud can take it. Really making 16 instances uh, shouldn't take that long, as long as we don't error out here. It's going through and building all of them, signing some IPs. You can see on just this, I have probably $300 wrapped up in this cloud, maybe. I've got, right now, I've only got four machines running in the cloud. Um, and that includes the Maz box, right? No, let's go to, uh, so I have four machines deployed plus Maz. Uh, so I got five total. And they're very, you know, you've seen on the website the, uh, the specs on these machines. So we're running very little hardware, and I'm spinning up 16 instances with four CPUs each right now. Pretty amazing what you can do with this open source product and on very little hardware. So we're still spinning up stuff. Everything's looking good. No issues. Let's take a look at hypervisors. And there you go. You can see we're 64 of 4 over allocated. Our memory is way low because we set everything to 256. We have completely maxed out to our 16 times ratio. 64 CPU vCPUs on four CPUs on two desktop machines. Pretty impressive. Let's go back to instances. So everybody's spun up. All these are ready to go. Just to show you, uh, take a look at the log. Uh, I mean, they're spinning up the file systems. Everything's installing. Uh, it looks good. This is a very typical install. Spinning up pretty fast. Looks good. Everything's there. Uh, and just to show you that the 16 limit is set, let's launch one more. And we'll just make it a small uh, with one CPU on it. Let's make it one. And launch it, and you'll see that it's completely maxed out. If you wanted to, you could go back into Juju and bump that ratio right back up if you wanted to. But there's no need for this test. See, no, no valid host found. It has no more CPUs that it can use. So we'll just terminate that one. So there you go guys, that's uh, pretty impressive stuff. Just wanted to share that with you guys, how smooth this, this stuff works. And we spun them all up, and it's just as easy to tear them all down. There they go. Back to where we were. That's it for this video, guys. Just wanted to show you that. Uh, there'll be more to come. Thanks for watching.